being at the General Assembly right now is like watching the movie Groundhog Day. Uh, we kind of see the same thing happening uh, each week right now. Uh, the House is working on the budget. Uh, we hope that uh, they will release uh, their version of the budget here in the next couple of weeks. And uh, not a lot happened this week at the General Assembly. Uh, they pretty much took this week off. Uh, there's some national meetings going on that a lot of them attended. And so we're hoping that they'll be back 100% uh, next week. And with that, uh, we're hoping that there'll be uh, two bills that we have some interest in that'll be heard next week. Uh, the first bill being House Bill 273. Uh, this is the bill dealing with the builder property tax exemption for townhomes. Uh, this bill uh, passed the Senate Rules Committee and hopefully will be heard on the Senate floor uh, early next week. And then the second bill is House Bill 489. This is our annual uh, Building Code Regulatory Reform Bill. Uh, it has been scheduled uh, for next Tuesday, 10 o'clock. Uh, in the Senate Ag uh, Energy and Environment Committee. And uh, that bill, hopefully if that bill passes there, it will then go to the Senate Transportation Committee. Now I'm gonna turn it over to Stephen Webb with our Legislator of the Week. Thanks, Tim. I'm here with Representative Larry Potts from Davidson County, a longtime builder, a huge advocate of our industry, and the primary sponsor of House Bill 273, which would expand the tax exemption to townhomes. He's been a great advocate for our industry and we'd like to recognize him as our Legislator of the Week. Thank you, sir. Thank you, I appreciate it. As a licensed contractor for over 40 years, I made it a point in my time in the legislature to introduce legislation that would better our industry and protect the citizens of our counties, our states, and I appreciate this opportunity a lot. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Stephen. For more information, read our weekly legislative update. See you next week.